right so now let's understand another important thing that you need to keep in mind whenever you're working with paradox concept all right so let's say uh, if you have a method uh, let's say you have a method called m1 because I love this name m1 <laughs> so in this m1 method if I want I can uh, take I mean if I want I can declare a variable let's say int a and if I want, I also can take a different argument with accepting an uh, integer array, or you can say is I'm taking it in form of Bharax type, right? So the thing that I want to do over here, if you are using my M1 method, the first thing is you must pass an integer that is compulsory, and you may pass any number of integer after that. All right. So, uh, for example, uh, let's give it a dumb implementation. Let's say system dot out dot println, and I want to print a here, and let's say I want to get all others value as well. Let's say I'm using a for loop, and I'll say int temp, and my array name is a, and again I'll do system dot out dot println of um, temp right okay so the thing that I want to tell you over here is if you're talking about a method inside a method you can take a normal argument type over here of integer type and also together you can take bad arcs as an another argument so you can mix uh, the normal type argument I mean the normal type int argument and also you can declare a bad arcs type over here Okay, so let's use this particular method. Uh, so uh, first of all, I need to create the object. So I'll say var cast v equal to new var cast, and then I'll do v v dot m1. And first thing, one argument should be compulsory. Let me pass ten here. And then I can provide any number of argument for this, right? So let's say 11, 12, and 13, all right? Okay, so let me uh, do something here. Let's say coming from var args type, right? Just to make sure. Um, this is getting executed right okay so right now let me compile this particular program all right so let me say java c varkes dot java compiles fine well i do have an error here oh i'm really sorry i have taken both the variable names same so let me change it to something else let's say numbers okay so we cannot take same variable name over here within the same method right okay so right now let me compile it again so let me say java c varkester java and well i need to change this as well oops okay so now i think everything is fine <laughs> so let me compile it again and there you go it's compiles fine and now let me run it let me say java varkes and there you go. So first thing, uh, I'm passing 10 here. Uh, so the value of a will be 10, which is compulsory because you have to pass this particular variable. So now there you go. And then this 11, 12, and 12, um, you know, this particular bad arc, uh, argument is handling these three values, right? So the intention of mine to show you this particular program is we can take a both uh, you know a normal int value and then varax type argument within a same method this is possible right it can do this thing happily right okay so now let's go for the next thing also before that uh, i just want to tell you one more thing if you want you can also also create a method by mixing the data type right so you can create another method let's say m2 and here in this method you can also take um, you know and let's say int value here 
and also you can take a different varag types with some different data type let's say string b right so it, this is also possible you can mix this thing right int and string over here this is perfectly valid right so the thing that you need to understand from both these cases what i'm doing over here i'm taking this varag type okay as the last argument in the parameter okay so if you talk about this m1 method this bad arcs type int number is the last thing that we have inside this parenthesis and similarly this string b is the last thing that we have inside this m2 method right this is the last argument so you can take this normal argument and the bad arcs type argument together but make sure if you are doing so this bearer type should be the last thing inside the parameter. Otherwise, you'll get compilation error. OK, so let's check this out. So right now, uh, if I will remove this thing here. And uh, let's uh, change this M2 method to let's make this string B as the first argument and something else as the second argument. So this is a normal in type argument I'm taking over here but the Varax type argument is coming first. So before I call this particular method, one more thing I need to do here, the first element should be string, right? The first few elements should be string. So let me make this 10 as a string, 11 as a string, and 12 as a string as well. And let me pass one integer value for this particular argument, all right? So now let me go ahead and compile this and let's check out that uh, this particular method is getting executed or not all right so let's compile this particular program and before compiling i have to do one more thing i have to change this method name to m2 and there you go okay so now let me compile this program let me say java c uh, var case dot java and then you can see i'm getting a compilation error and this error is saying you just cannot take this string b um you know uh, as the first parameter here and if you are taking that you have to end it I mean you have to end this method over here so the point is uh, uh, that we cannot take uh, you know a varax uh, or a variable argument as the first thing inside the parenthesis all right so before I wrap up this tutorial one last thing that I want to tell you guys so if you talk about a method, inside a method, as I said, we can happily take a argument of var types, but a method should contain only one var types argument. So what I mean by that? So if I remove this int b over here, so you can see I already have a var types uh, uh, argument over here called string b, right? So I cannot take an another one. I cannot say int triple dot b. So this is an invalid piece of code. So inside a method only one argument should be varag types and that two should be the last argument, right? So if I'm taking an another varag types over here, this is becoming the first one, right? So anyhow, just remember like this inside a method you cannot take more than one varag types argument. So uh, this is one of the things that I wanted to tell you guys. All right, so right now, let's go for the next scenario.